The next picture <laughs> we are going to take a look at is a picture that Billy has sent to us. Uh, it's a picture of Martinez. Billy, would you have the first words about that picture and, and why did you choose that picture for today's conference? Oh yeah, this is a great find by Martine again as usual. Uh, she's uh, one of the best anomaly hunters we have. Uh, this um, this uh, is stood right out because it looks like a humanoid figure and uh, it could be a statue, it could be um, a, a creature that's been encrusted, it could be a, a creature that's alive right now. We, we just don't know. But I do know that you can clearly make out that it appears to be sitting or standing there and it has something in its arms exactly what it is i can't tell it kind of looks like it might be a small uh, uh, um, person or um, but it uh, it even looks like it has something wrapped around a scarf neck almost like a mm -hmm. it's got on a coat you know? and it's uh it's got eye two eyes a nose a mouth and ears and um it's just an amazing piece because it just out. You don't have to really look at it too long. It's a bilateral, uh, you know, a humanoid. Am I gone? Testing, no, testing, you're testing. You <laughs> cut out a couple of times, but you're good. Okay. What I was saying that it appears to be a perfectly atomically correct bilateral uh, anomaly, and meaning that it. Um, uh, a humanoid type, you know, you know, split in half, two arms, two legs, two eyes, two, you know, nose and two ears, and it just, uh, it just really looks to be like it's holding something in its in its arms. I can't fully make maybe somebody else have a great, okay. great I, I, you know, but I love it. It's a great image. Thank you, Billy. Yes, indeed. And as usual, we are starting from the top here uh, with David. Can it tell us your thoughts about this image? The first thing that pops into my mind when I look at this image is it looks like a a hamster with a with a paw <laughs> thrown over. <laughs> uh, you know, more than a human. It really looks like a hamster face, but that's just me. Uh, and it looks like what I take to be the hands uh, are three-fingered, uh, and that it's perhaps sitting in a sitting position yeah. with a small being or or an object of some kind on its lap, yes. and it's looking up. It's looking at the viewer as if to say, uh, "Look, look what this is, or look what you did. Is it a dead child? Is it a dead?" Being, uh, is it some kind of memorial uh, that one will put over a grave? Uh, that's kind of the impression that I get. And uh, as a, again, one of Martine's incredible finds. And uh, I, I don't know what else I can say about it. It's uh, definitely not natural. No. Is um is there on the toilet? He's got his toilet roll in his hand. He said, "Go away." <laughs> Go away! I'm on the toilet! <laughs> he could be looking for a Pokemon on his iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Martini, this is a picture of, of yours. What's yes, I, I love it. And I, it, it gone, I've found so many humanoids or statues of humanoids lately that I'm forgetting which ones I posted. <laughs> But no, I mean, I couldn't believe how small this is. We're talking inches. And it's it was some way off in an area, quite an open area. But my goodness, it just popped out. Anyone, anyone could have seen it. Um, the way it comes across to me um, is that it's quite possibly a female figure. And it, the weather is cold. I don't know, if, was it one of the earlier souls? It could have been the end of Martian winter or whatever, but... Uh, it's well wrapped up. It's almost like it's a thick stole or a collar, a fur collar, well, not fur, we don't know about that. It's sitting there with a child, lying, the, lap, the child on the back, and sort of resting over the lap of the parent. And I see that in the parent's left hand, she's holding something. I'm saying she, but... Uh, um, she's holding something which almost looks like it's leading to the, the child's mouth. 
So my first thought is she's feeding it. I don't know. I don't know whether you see it the same way. But I keep seeing the head the, the, of the parent from two different aspects. David said about it, um, the you know the face looking upwards. Uh, no, it was never, wasn't it? Um, but I, I also see it looking down at the child too. But I, that's as far as I could go. I didn't want to overwork it, and and that's that's the way it stayed. But ah. Uh, oh. I mean, my goodness, when they say every picture tells a story, you know, I look at these images and I get a little emotional over them. Yeah, they're all very precious. Yeah. It's a wonderful picture for sure, Martina, and you're doing an amazing work with all the pictures that you are putting up on your group, Martian Genesis, on Facebook. Thank you, Thomas. Congratulations with it. You're doing a wonderful job. Chris I Moroni. hope everyone enjoys oh. them. <laughs> we, we've just got to, we've just got to reveal it all it's all there isn't it mm. it's up to us piece it together that's all oh. yeah yes. Chris Moroni what's your thoughts on it well I can't add too much to what they've said um, now do you believe this is this is alive or do you believe it's statue statue I think well, yeah, I'm sorry. It appears more to a statue than me, and to me, I mean, the way you you enhanced it, it does actually looks like some figure carrying something. Now it's, I think it's sitting, Chris, yeah, and, and yeah. the child is sort of, you know, just yeah. like its back, you know, it's being kind of got its legs hanging off the rocks, if you will. It yeah. actually, it actually it's looks as if it actually looks as if it's kneeling to me because the way it's kneeling down, you can see, you can see the knees, but you can see. The, if when you draw on a figure, you can tell whether the legs coming forwards or it's going backwards. It looks as if the legs going backwards, and you can see the back part of its foot. So I see it. Okay, you know, yeah, see I guess that. you can see maybe one leg's bent and the other isn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it looks like the left leg has, it actually looks, looks like it's if, hanging off, and the other no, one looks like it may be on a knee. It, it actually looks like it's bent on one, right. one, one, one knee, and the other leg is like. Laid, laid back, you know? Yeah. It's possible. The, the thing is, a lot of these figures, proportionately, are, are very childlike. You've got a large head and a small body. I don't know if you've noticed that with some of them. Um, they look almost toy-like, doll-like. But I don't know. I see, I see this one as having she's sitting on something, and I think the two white. Block mm. underneath the child lying across their lap, uh, uh, the feet, the shoes. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I, I think, I think, so, sorry, I, I think uh, to the question, is it alive or is it a statue? Yeah. Uh, my I, uh, opinion I on that question what I'm would, say. would be that if it was alive, then we would probably have heard it from thousands of people that would have been studying the ne next yeah. souls. From, from from those images and would have found that this uh, anomaly here would not be where it was at the other pictures. Uh, I think it's not alive. Uh, I think it's uh, how to uh, say it, frozen in time, so so to speak. Uh, uh, otherwise, it would have moved. And we have seen uh, um, what happens when when rocks suddenly moves on on, on, uh, on, on the Martian surface uh, what happens uh, on the internet when, when those rocks uh, or pictures are coming out and when never afterwards tells about how the rovers are positioned and what uh, position they're taking the pictures from which actually explain why the rock didn't move I think some of you remember yeah. those two stories about the moon rock that didn't move at all mm -hmm. uh, if this was a living entity, then we would have seen it in, in, in the upcoming pictures. We would have seen some difference uh, in, in its position on but, the next mm -hmm. pictures. Well, I have to say that 80% of these figures we're finding, why are they all facing the camera? It's a good question. It's a damn good question. Is it possible <laughs> that they just position a rover in front of it? <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell. If it's a statue, that is. I think that's more than chance, don't you, Chris? <laughs> I, that's the big question for me. And I appreciate that movement would be the proof as to whether these things are alive or not. It's true. Mm -hmm. and it would, uh, uh I would like to get sorry. I would like to get back to your picture because we didn't get the chance to hear yeah. Neville's uh, 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 thoughts about that picture. Yeah, to me, it's 
it's, it's not, not alive, sorry, but it's, it's, it's a statue or it's a carbon of another piece that's probably uh, broken off, or the rest of the piece could be buried, because remember, Mars is constantly getting blown about with sand and stuff like that. Everything that we're saying could be buried, you know what I mean? And what we're saying is just the top... Um, a few inches of what's left, you know what I mean? It could be, mm. you know, and this could be the top of something. It could be um, the top of a column or wh 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 whatever. We we don't know. Um, but to me, it looks like a figure. It looks like a figure that sees down on one knee with a leg trailing backwards. Got something in his hands, I can't see something there. But it looks as if he's actually got like a, a big... Then caught on with a big hood around um, its head, you know. Um, I don't know whether it could be looking forwards or it could be looking downwards. I don't know. I would have to have a proper look at this. Um, Is it possible that the, it has a breathing apparatus of some sort on its yeah. head? Maybe that's why it looks bigger. Yeah, some kind of respirator. Something, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I found, I found um, images and drawings of people with things on the front, front of the faces, like, you know. Um, yeah. We have, yeah. Could be the front of whatever's in the Martian air out so they can breathe properly. Um, but Nev, the smaller figures, the tiny ones, don't appear to need these things. It's the larger, the, the taller species. Maybe because, because they're higher from the ground, the oxygen levels are much lower as you go higher. Because I know the oxygen, there was plenty of oxygen within the rocks. There's pockets of it beneath beneath the rocks and within the rocks. And I think perhaps the taller the, the species, the less likely. Um, but they are more likely to have difficulty with breathing. Could do. We don't know. But, but this picture, I think it's um, a carbon myself or um, a, a, a part of another bit of sculpture, you know. Um, I don't think it'll be real because if you probably if you looked at um, other saw images of, uh, that came after or before it, um, it's probably still there. It's probably you know it won't have stayed there for, for, for a few days yeah. doing whatever it's doing. You know, um, you know we don't know what it's doing. But um, anyway, I think it's a it's a carbon. It's a carbon. Mm. Um, from a rock or it's off something else. It's a yeah. great image. That's oh, yeah, for sure. it's good. It's that's good. For sure. The next image we have coming up, I have actually been looking forward to this because it's the only image that is not from Mars in, in this round. It's a, an image that uh, Chris Moroni sent to, to us here today. and.